Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm showing you the best free editing software out there on the internet and I'll be showing you how to use it exactly and how to install it and everything you need to know about this software to get you started creating awesome videos. Before we get any further, make sure you subscribe down below. I appreciate it so much and this video took me a while to make so please go and do it and of course smash the like button as well and while you're at it, go into the notifications on so you're notified every time I go and upload a brand new video because I'm making a lot of videos on sort of editing softwares and other softwares that are going to increase your productivity within sort of the video editing and marketing guys if you're interested in growing on YouTube go and check out my course and just check out the description for any important stuff also I want to say a huge thank you for over 3,000 views on my last video about video editing softwares I really appreciate it and because of that I'm gonna be making more in-depth videos on video editing softwares as people seem to really enjoy them so I really appreciate it and without any further ado let's jump straight into this video so as you can see the video editing software we're using is called DaVinci Resolve 16 and the link will be down below but it's a really good software and it's a really professional and I'm surprised it's free because it is that good we're getting yourself a really good deal now there is a paid version of this but the free version is everything you needed to do and it just sort of explains everything about the software it's got so many different sections and we're explaining it all and it's just so so good and there are so many different features like custom timeline uh, settings and image stabilization so much important stuff which you'd normally expect in a paid software for free so it's really good and it just shows you all the different features of the software so if we just scroll through and then once you get to the bottom we can then have the option to go and download so as you can see there is a free version the picture is all 16 is so so good and let's go and download it right now so all you want to do is come and click download now and you'll then get a pop-up saying which operating system you're running so I currently run Windows as you can see but if you've got a Linux or Mac this works on all of them which is super super good because a lot of them are only limited to one normally Windows so let's click Windows and now we're going to get a pop-up with saying entering all our details so I'm going to enter this and then show you once I've done so I've now entered all my details I will just blur them out because it's got some of my emails and stuff so then all you want to do is click register and download and we've now got that pop-up with this and it's going to be a zip file and it starts downloading immediately which is super super useful so now we've got to wait as you can see it is over a gigabyte but obviously you've got to have it's a good software so it's going to be a decent size so just simply wait for that to download and i'll see you once we've gone and installed the software so the download is now finished now go and download it and now i'm going to go in depth into the video editor starting from zero and showing you how to edit a whole video um but i'm going to do it without a face cam because otherwise it's just going to get in the way so yeah let's just go and roll the clip Okay everybody, so welcome to DaVinci Resolve 16 and this is the first page you're going to get once you first open it up. So as you can see, you've just got the un un title project here because I've already just tested it out quickly. But you currently have nothing here, so all you want to do is come down here and click new project. As you can see, now you want to enter a name, so I'm going to quickly put in YouTube, just so I know it's for a YouTube video and I'm obviously editing YouTube video. Then go and click create. And now we're going to be loading up the whole software and essentially what we're going to want. And now it's come on to the wrong, the wrong one. But here we go. We're now here. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of taken and I'm going to quickly break it down all for you. So down here is just the different um, pages, I guess, of the software. So you've got the media cut, which is currently in edit, fusion, color, fair light, deliver. So in media, it's going to show up all our media in cut is where we can start cutting the video up, which is really useful, actually. And in edit. We can have a bit more a bigger timeline and it essentially allows you to add more tracks and other stuff like that. Now fusion basically it's more of a the page where you can add more other stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm semi unsure of fusion but you shouldn't need to use it essentially. Um, color is where you can adjust sort of like the different the color of the video. I'll give an example but if you can say you can just drag it around to if, if you want to change the color or just add a bit of um, shade to it and fair light is just music and deliver is where you want to save the video which is commonly known as rendering. And you can add it to a queue if you want, or you can change the settings here. Um, so yeah, it's really, really simple. So the first thing you want to do is come to cut. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this video using different types of clips. So I've got one where it's just me talking, but we've also got a gameplay video because I know everyone likes editing different stuff. So I want to make sure this video sort of suits everybody. So all you want to do is find your media in another um, in a finder. So as you can see here, I've just got my media, um, which is here my finder so i'm going to quickly find the video i want to drag in which is in here so or you can find it in the media um tab here but i personally prefer to just drag it in from my fire explorer so i've got the clip here simply going to drag it in it's going to show it there one and then drop it and now it's going to have this so the clips different frame rates in the current portrait setting so this is currently set to 30 fps and i i film my videos in 60 so it's going to put it down to 30 um so yeah 
it's up to you what um, FPS you have, but it's pretty much it's smoother at 60, but if you have a slower PC, then I'd recommend going for the 30 FPS option. It's a lot easier. So anyway, now here we've got the software, and to move through the clip, I recommend using this one here, and the blue line is the whole video, so I can spin through like that. And hopefully you can hear the video. Um, I should be able to edit it so you hear it. So anyway, let's get straight into clipping this video up. So essentially this is where the video will start where I start speaking here so I want to move along to where I actually start speaking because otherwise it's not gonna uh, show um, I'm gonna the video is gonna click where I'm just holding it and I want it to start where I start speaking just like a normal video of mine right so all you want to do is find where it starts here and then you want to go and do control and then backward slash boosh and as you can see we've now got that cut and if we click on them they're now separate videos so now I can come in here and delete it by pressing delete and now it puts it to the start of the video which is super super awesome so now when I first play the video I start speaking which is obviously really good and then I want to do that for the end as well so I'm going to drag this all the way to the end and um, find where I start speaking if I can quickly drag it there let's continue editing like that so just about here this makes it kind of wild. You've got to get used to just, you know, dragging the cursor around. Like, it's different if you're new to editing. Um, and then go and do control back slash again. Boosh. And I want to delete that bit there. Pressing delete. And del, del is just delete on the keyboard, if I didn't say that before. So you can drag it like that, but I prefer doing this. It just goes faster through the project. So now we've got this. I've actually got other gaps in the video as well. Uh, so it might be a bit further on, so I'll use this one. So let's move through. To, so here's, here's a gap. out to see how overall the user so that's a get where i wasn't speaking because there's no volume there uh, but here's a major one which i kind of did purposely for this video so all i'm going to do is simply do control backslash again and clip it boosh and then scroll along to where i start speaking again and do it again and now we've clipped that up we can click delete and then they magnetically go together which is why it's so easy and so fast to edit with this and now it just flows straight on so i'll play it for you overall the usability of it is and how easy to use boosh and then it's so so easy uh that's why i love this stuff so much so we've now got that first clip i'm gonna go through and check for other gaps which is here so I'm going to quickly do this. And as you get used to the software, you'll get a lot faster at completing it. And we'll do it again. Press delete. And we're making good progress. So I think that is the main stops I made in the video. Um, and as you can see, it actually shows it here, which is useful. So now I want to go and add a transition to the gap, basically. So as you can see, we can go along here and it's going to magnetically jump in, which is so helpful. And then to find transitions, you click on the transitions tab and already lists them. There are titles, effects, and we'll try these out in a minute. But I want to quickly put in a transition here. So all I'm going to go for is scroll down just like this. And we can go and have a look. So I think I want something which is sort of like a movement. So I'm going to go for a push actually. So drag that in here. And then you put it over at the gap. Because you could have it there but you want it in the gap. So now it's loaded in. And as you can see if we go back uh, a bit we can watch it go. It is and, how easy it and that did take quite a while. And I want that to be a bit short. So all I want to do is grab it and you'll have this... Um, uh, your cursor change to this and then you can drag it to make it shorter so how many seconds you want so I want it pretty short just like that and then we can move back and we can see if we prefer it like that and how easy so that's perfect for me and now what I think is really cool to have is actually go and add in like a swoosh sound effect or a whoosh so I've got that here so I've got in my sound effects here and I'm gonna go for a I'm gonna go for a whoosh three and then drag that in down here and now I can line that up perfectly hold on and now up here grab it and you can simply move it along so i want it to be the sort of the whoosh to be i guess in the near the middle ish or near the start so just about there i've got it perfectly lined up and, and how easy to boosh that's perfect and i'm going to quickly play that to you so you could perfectly hear it the other is and how easy to use and that looks really good to me and i'm very happy with the outcome of that so that's how you put a simple transition in and it's really easy and also i just quickly figured out that you can go through this by using your mouse um scroll wheel so you can go through pretty easily but i do prefer just dragging it along because i have obviously you just can be a bit more precise with it so right the next thing i want to go and do is add some effects so what we're going to do is come to the effect tab and you can add blurs. So if you wanted to say blurs, and we can have a clip. So if I wanted to blur, let's say, just a little frame. So we're going to do control, backward slash, move along, do backward slash again. And now we've got this clip. So I've now made the clip and to drag an effect in, you simply come to the effects. Now some of these are premium, but a lot of them are free, which I like. So box blur is free. So I can drag that in, sorry, and boosh, we've now got a blurred clip. 
and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you do that now I think this is the main thing I want to quickly go to the next tab though so that's pretty much cut and as you can see here you can be a lot more precise with movements of clips um, but cut is the more basic side of DaVinci Resolve so here is easier I mean a lot of people find it subjective like what you prefer so this is more if you're advanced editing and you're used to it but I'd recommend starting out of cut and as you can see you can um, move stuff more precisely in here like you can move that all the way and you can zoom in and out here but anyway, it depends on what you like, and you, to zoom in and out, you do control, then uh, plus to go in, and minus to move out. So that's sort of the main bit. We've got our sort of edit here. We've got where it goes blurry, and, how easy to and use. that's sort of the main part of the video. But what I want to show you next is how to go and add, change the color of the clip. So as you can see, this is my video, and to change it, this is all the spikes. You can simply drag the curve to make it, if you want to change it, you know, this color, you'll make it more white, and if you want it to be darker, you go down here. So I quite like that effect, actually, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then when I come back to edit, as you can see, you how it's changed it all. But what I like about this is that it actually changes the specific clip you want on. So for example, this clip has got the darker bit, but over here, it still remains the same. As you can see here, it actually shows you the different clips you have. So I actually, what I did edit, I edited this one, and if I want to make it lighter, I can do that. Um, and if you want to do any specific, you can just simply move it like that. Super, super easy. So I want that to be pretty much normal, so I'll drag it back to where it was. So now you've done this, to go and render it, you click on Deliver. And now you can go and render it out by simply going render settings. You can go for custom or like 1080p for YouTube, which I really recommend these settings. So I'm going to go for YouTube test. Uh, if I can type YouTube test. And now all these settings can remain the same. And you want to then next you do add to render queue. And now it's going to tell us where you want to save it. Um, so all you want to do is save it to videos just like so. And it's now going to begin rendering. So that is pretty much it. And then it will start saving once you start render. And as you can see, it's now rendering out. And it's actually a really fast render time, which is super, super helpful. And it's doing it as a move uh, movie file because I selected YouTube. And if you want it to be different, you can change that up here. So I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, smash a like and I look forward to catch you in the next video. Peace.